Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Anycubic i3 Mega for Cura. Okay, when you open your Cura, this is how it looks. Right now I have Ultimaker 2 Extended Plus defined as my main machine. As a first step is to go to Ultimaker's website for Cura software and to check the version of the Cura. So the most recent version is 2.6.2. Let me go back and check is my software up to date or not. So basically click about Cura. So in the about Cura section, I see that my software is up to date 2.6.2. One thing to note here is I'm using iOS. Due to this fact, if you are using Windows computer, the location of the menus and buttons will be in the different locations. You will be able to find them with the same names. So let's start. After we check is our software up to date or not, let's add the Anycubic i3 Mega into our Cura program. So basically, go here into the settings, go down to the printer and click add printer. When we click add printer, we basically start with the Ultimaker series, but we don't want it. Basically, go down to the other. When you click the other, all the Related 3D printers are in here, but unfortunately we won't be able to see any cubic i3 mega What we are going to do is basically select Purusa i3 and in here it says printer name Let's write down any cubic i3 mega click add printer Right now what we do is basically go back to the settings go back to the printer and click manage printers in here we see this Anycubic i3 Mega, this is our printer, and we click Machine Settings. When we click the Machine Settings, we need to change some things. So basically our X is 210mm, Y is 210 millimeter, and the Z height is 205mm. And then we will select the Build Plate Shape and it is going to be rectangular. Machine center is zero. No, we are not going to select this one and it is ha it has heated bed. We will be selecting this one. So in here, G-code flavor, we will keep it as Marlin Sprinter. And then we come here, make the X min zero, Y min zero, X max zero, Y max zero, gantry, gantry height zero, Materi material diameter 1.75 nozzle size 0 0.4 and we will come to this start g chord part after this m117 printing we will put g5 as it's indicated in the user manual and then after we write down g5 to start g chord part it will be done close it close it again after we finish our main settings right now we need to change the print settings so in here as you can see the material is PLA that's what I'm using when we come to the quality part we are going to arrange it to 0.2 millimeter as layer height but you guys can change it according to your desire as well but don't forget our nozzle is 0.4 millimeter and then we will go to the wall thickness and leave these as 0.8 and we are going to change the infill density to 25 percent you can change this one according to your desire as well and the print temperature is going to be 195 but you guys can keep it as 200 as well but it really depends on you and build plate temperature is going to be 50 celsius and the diameter of the material is going to be 1.75 millimeter flow is 100 percent enable retraction yes and the print speed is going to be 60 millimeter per second travel speed 120 millimeter per second those are okay Enable print cooling, yes. Generate support, it really depends on your shape. You can generate support or not according to your desire. Uh, build plate adhesion type. Right now, I'm not going to put any adhesion type, it's going to be none. Dual extrusion nodes. And in here, under the special modes, don't forget to select the print sequence as all at once. Right now, our print setup is complete. What we are going to do is to insert the file that we would like to print. So let's click open file. And I have been printing an ATAT walker, so I'm going to select body A for example, open it, and it will fit the body A in here. And I'm going to print the body A like this. At this point, we will click save to file button, and when we click that button, we will save our file as a G code inside our SD card. 
Okay guys, this is the end of my video. In this one, I showed you how to set up any Cubic IT Mega in Cura software. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please comment down below. These are the settings that are recommended, so you can change them, you can experiment them and see the results by yourself. These are not the best settings, so it will really depends on your desire and what you want to get and how much time you want to spend. All the related links are in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my other videos as well. See you in the next video.